What's up, guys? Got some new mail for the uh, LTZ 400. Oh, new main bearings and seals for the uh, bearing carrier. I'm going to do a uh, removal and install on these bearings for you. Alright, first thing you want to do is you see it's a 2005 LCZ 400 slash Z400. Grab your floor jack and um, the way I jack it is right up under the bottom of the shot. That way you have plenty of room back here to work. First thing you want to do is remove the left tire. And the way I'm going to do it, instead of using the lug nuts, I'm just going to remove it from the hub itself. And I'm going to show you how to do it. Alright guys, just remove the whole tire and hub assembly is one piece. It slides off the axle, which is fun. Next thing you want to do... Here's a Phillips head, I mean a, uh, an Allen bolt in here. What I usually do is uh, spray some good penetrating oil in here. Just really don't want to snap this bolt. We unscrew this. Next we're going to remove this off of the hub. model. Once you loosen this, you can slide it back and you'll have this, this large snap ring you're going to need to pull off to pull this hole. Alright, once you remove your snap ring, slide this assembly completely off. Set it to the side. Along with this spacing washer. Next, we're going to remove our chain. In order to do that, you need to remove these four bolts. You don't have to completely remove them, just unloosen them most of the way. And take these two nuts completely off. Alright guys, loosen these four, remove this. The easy way to remove this chain is slide your whole axle to the top and pull the top off to the right side and twist your tire until it falls off. Next, you want to remove your sprocket. Sometimes you got to give it a tap. Just a few light taps. Slide your sprocket off. I like keeping things aligned. Next, you want to remove your caliper. I just removed the whole, cal whole caliper with this bolt here and this bolt here, 10 mil. All right, once you remove those two bolts, take your whole caliper and set it aside. Now all we're going to do is slide this whole tire, caliper, axle assembly out to the right. This saves a lot of time not removing all this and all this all you gotta do is slide it out as one piece out to your right sometimes it needs a love tap get a rubber mallet you do not want to use a hammer on this either put a block of wood with a regular hammer or a mallet like that. And as you can see, all you have to do is pull the whole assembly off. Alright guys, as you can see there's a bunch of old dirty grease in here. This will need to be cleaned up and re-greased with some good grease. And as you can tell, the whole part of this bearing actually snapped off from 